Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. So uh yeah, a bit of news for you really. I've got I've got there's two bits actually. I've got a bit of news with regards to the engine. And um I got the cam cover back from from Daz from uh, Anglesey uh Hydro uh Hydro Graphics. Um he's in a fantastic fantastic job on the cam cover. Really really happy. And as you might remember I had the cam cover done. I also did the uh, the ignition lead cover done as well. Um, so there's two bits, and they've been done in two different finishes. So uh, I will show you that in a bit. But um, this video is going to be a bit short this week. It can't be anything else because there's not a great deal to say. Um, uh, of course, this week I've got the um, the privilege of. Uh, I'm chuffed with to to reveal the cam cover. Um, but uh, first, first off, first off, um, been speaking to Baz um, early on in the week with regards to the engine. Um, so uh, he has started working on reassembling the 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 block this week, uh, sitting the um, the new uh, liners in there and uh, carry out the protrusion check so um he shared a a, a photo on his uh, social media um, um earlier earlier on this week with regards to the block and they showed the photo on the block all bolted down and and looked really really good it looked really really good um and of course uh, the block has has been it's been cleaned it's been skimmed over the top to get the uh to get it nice and nice and level so uh so yeah its engine is progressing um looking forward to another update from baz we we discussed um cylinder head gasket uh, discussed the fact i asked was baz did i really need to buy another comatic head gasket um to put back in the engine and um after after baz Got back to me with with all the information and uh, i've got to say you know huge thanks to, to again again to baz for for just the comprehensive information that he's he's, he's given me i mean he really is um you know a, a font of information with with all sorts of engines and everything uh but yeah it, it's uh I've decided that I'm going to put a Victor Reince uh, head gasket back and not a Cometic head gasket um, as I was going to originally. So, um, of course, a lot of it, it it's it's not it's cost it's cost effective to put a Victor Reince one compared to a Cometic one, and overall, the overwhelmingly the, the decision is to put a, you know a decent quality or wee quality head gasket on rather than the Cometic one because they. It a it's not, it's not a stage rally car, it's not a track car, b it's not a track car, and it's just a fast road car. So I d it didn't really warrant needing something of to that of that extremity. So, so yeah, it's going to be an OE quality, a good good quality um, head gasket. And then Baz was saying that uh, Victor Reince, they that that my Reince or whatever the make is called, they also do um, uh, the. Uh, head group a head gaskets for for cosworth engines so um based on that that's more than good enough for me so uh so that was a decision made on that the rest of the stuff you know shells bearing stuff like that i'm not going to go over the top with, with that kind of stuff either and uh and so so that's pretty much where we've got to with with the engine um situation um as i mentioned i'm not in a huge ridiculous rush to get it back because the deadline is you know get it back on the road by the end of end of march so you know there's there's there's, there's plenty of time there's plenty of time um i am buying bits in in the background in the meantime um i bought um i'm going to reuse this thermatech um inlet manifold gasket um because it will it'll do the job i'm pretty sure it can, that will compress again um, I've bought a new uh, exhaust manifold gasket um, and I've bought various other bits that I need um, to reassemble the engine 
and uh, I'm in a pretty good, pretty good place with it. I'm opened the bonnet. I've had moved this out the other day, a bit of fresh air, as you saw. Um, I've got a bit of vacuuming to do there. I've got to just touch this up a little bit here, uh, where it's, uh, well, as everybody who's got one of these knows that they uh, leak around the seals when it gets a bit warm and the driving gets a bit spirited. So I've got to give that a once over and it's going to be a bit of a pain um, to mask actually. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get that, I'll get that sorted. Yeah, get it sorted, but it's just, it's just, you know, it'd be good to, be good to just drive this again round again and uh and all the rest of it so um yes i was saying that uh daz anglesey uh, hydrographics did an amazing job <coughs> on um on the cam cover so uh you might recall that i stripped it down and primed it and the stripping it down quite frankly is an absolute twat of a job and <laughs> i mean that with all my heart is a just a fucking horrible job um but i took it to daz and uh in, in all fairness to him he you know he there's a there's a few bits on the plug holes that um uh, it's, it's just really awkward for me to get to my aunt it's with paint stripper so he blasted the whole thing again um carefully obviously because it's it's magnesium um and yeah he he re re etched primed it and uh, a couple of days a couple of days later it was it was done and dusted and um really really quick turnaround really fast fast service um so i've got it here and uh let's have a look so here it is here it is so Obviously, I gave I gave away no clues with regards to um, to what colour it was going. Obviously, it was a nice bright red before, and um, I see there's a there's a few there's a few people in the community decided to, to make them red, and it looks really really good. It looked good against the the grey, so I thought right, we'll do something a little bit different here, which was the original intention with the car, until I found out there was one that had been already been done. <laughs> um, so you know. Well, that it was what it was. Um, so I thought, right, I could do something a bit different. So I was looking around. Um, I, I googled, you know, um, cam covers, um, different colours, different designs, and stuff like that, and different ways of finishing them. So I thought, right, hold on a minute. So I put hydro, uh, hydro, um, hydro dipped. Uh, cam covers uh, scrolling along scrolling along and i saw this uh this k20 vtec one and um i thought Ooh, that, i really like that so um i decided to go with that color straight away i thought that's it this is it this is what i want so um it was candy apple red it was a candy apple red with a silver carbon fiber weave running through it so that's what we went with and um, all credit to Daz, he came up an absolute trooper with it, and uh, and this is this is how it looks. So it's uh, absolutely awesome. Let's get out the shadow for a minute. As you can see, it's an amazing finish. It's really nice and glossy. I'll get this carpet out of the way. I really hope you can see the gloss on that, but I think you will. The only issue you couldn't get was into this bit here, because of course with the hydrographic hydro dipping, it's it's just you know it's a bit it's an art anyway. Not too concerned about that because I'm going to have that thick ass pipe around there, and you're just not going to see it at all. So um, you know he tried he tried to do what he could to be fair, and um, I just so chuffed with the job. Um, Oh, the camera still for a minute so you don't get the uh, LED light flash but you can see running along it you can just see it's just so so glossy and inside the, the plug uh, the plug recesses here but it really you know you can see it with the light actually it just really pops and this video probably won't do it justice or as much justice as it should but it's amazing well well chuffed with it 
So I thought, right, okay. The original cam cover was red. The color, original color was red. Um, well, I did it. It wasn't original. It's uh, black, can not it? But uh, it was red. And you might recall I had the black HD lead ignition lead cover. I thought hmm, opportunity here. So uh, Daz called over to have a look at the job, and we got talking and. Um, I was talking to him and uh, asked him about, I thought, well, because this is going to go like, like silver carbon fibre, what about black carbon fibre? So we looked at that and I uh, thought, mm, be a bit, be a bit dark. So he had on the, the inlays on the dashboard on his car, he had black carbon fibre or a black base with a silver carbon fibre weave like this. On top of the cover, I thought I like that. I like that, and uh, I thought right, we'll do that. I so, um, Alexa, Alexa, shut up. <laughs> Apologies for that. <laughs> um, so, I thought, right, I'm going to go for it. So, I'm going to take this out right, with one hand. Hopefully, not going to drop it on the cam cover. So, uh, so that's that's what the decision was. So I'm hope I love it. I love it. That's, that's all I care about. And I've had a lot of shit in my time with this with this car, the colour and stuff, especially shiny primer. And as you can, as you know, I don't give a shit what anybody else thinks, really. But I like it, and if I like it, that's all that counts. So, so yeah, the black, the black plastic cover is now black based with uh, a silver carbon weave on it and I think hopefully you'll agree that it looks the dog's bollocks it does is also actually managed to get the uh, the carbon fiber weave running in the same direction which is a really really nice touch I am just it just looks so deep with the shine as hopefully you can see and of course um, with the finishing bits here of course I've got these really shallow um, hex bolts so what happens is these washers fit perfectly into the recesses I've seen these done so many different ways on the MIs it's, it's not it's a bit of a tricky thing actually but um, these washers fit nicely into the recesses and the screws then because they're uh, chamfered they fit nicely in um, into the cover that's that there and obviously there's no thread for the center one because it's part of the one of the, uh, the original bolts from the middle of the cam which is this one so I can't screw that one down this one can be a bit tricky because the hole in the actual plastic is kind of not quite square but so that's tightened down and as you can see with the screws and stuff it's just it looks so nice but one of the things I'm looking at doing is whether you recall um, the Ali, Ali aluminium cup washers on the seats let me just show you and the uh, the seat uh, the harness bar so what I'm looking at possibly doing is maybe using uh, longer bolts and having something similar to this on them um, in either a black or a um, silver cup I need to find out um, I need to find out if I can find some, and I'm pretty confident I will be actually. So the engine's so quite low in the bay, so the the height isn't going to be an issue. But I think it'll be an even better finish on this again than it already is. So uh, and this is the first time I've done this. I literally pulled the cover off before I started recording. So just give me an idea. Obviously this not brilliant and the lights shite in here but um 
hopefully that'll give you an idea it's further back actually isn't it the engine but and closer in but hopefully give you an idea and me an idea of how it's going to look and it just it's absolutely fucking stunning excuse the french but it really is it really is stunning i think you'll agree <laughs> so one last thing really for this video before i wrap up you're looking at the ribs and of course previously um it was all red so i'm going to put some a couple of photos in now actually so you can have a look for yourself i've got there's two options uh, it's three options actually i either leave it as it is like this or i get some uh, silver vinyl made up for the ribs for the 16 valve um, I've already made the template as uh, you are no doubt aware I showed you in a previous episode so I made the template um, so I, I, uh, I cut them out of vinyl make them all silver so it stands out a little bit which you can see in um, one that I photoshopped or paint shop pro um, and the third option is have all the ribs up and the 16 valve in silver and have the bottom rib in the um the dr motorsport slash similar to the Peugeot talbot sport colors all running down here which you can see in this next fo uh, photo or picture that i made so i'm just trying to figure out which one to go i'm not decided yet Another thought was, and there's no third photo, unfortunately, for, for this one, is to have the centre four ribs silver with a 16 valve, continuing all the way, and have the top and bottom ones with a Peugeot Talbot Sport slash DR Motorsport colours on there. But I'm not sure yet. I'm going to Photoshop that one and have a look at it over the weekend. But, um, so yeah, um... I'm really undecided as to what to do. So my gut feeling at the minute is just do it all silver and keep it keep it nice and no frills. Which is what I'm all about is no frills. Um so yeah, we'll we'll find, we'll see. But uh as always, thanks for your support. Look after yourselves, take care, and if you think some you knew somebody who'd like to watch the channel or subscribe or have a look at the content of my adventures please please feel free to share it'll help the channel grow um and uh i'll catch up with you uh next week all being well stay safe take care